Hey guys, it's movie week on Life Changes Everything. We're talking about guilty pleasures in film. I'm recording this old school style on Lauren's eyesight camera, so forgive any delays between the sound and the video. I could not record my video yesterday because we had about eight hours of travel. Uh, we started in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, then we went to Huntington, Virginia, and we are now in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm actually filming in Patrick's house, and you all know Patrick as Thursday of Life Changes Everything, which is pretty sweet. Patrick's at work, so we've sort of taken over his house. Justin right now is fixing himself a bagel. I had one earlier. I'm going to throw a little curveball at y'all right now, and I'm going to talk about the Harry Potter movies. Of course, I am fully engaged in the Harry Potter fan community, and Harry Potter fans in general, while they get excited for the movies and, you know, they line up in crazy lines and they get dressed up for the premieres and they, you know, they go all out, they still always seem to come out complaining about something. I remember back to the Lord of the Rings films when they came out. I was really excited and, you know, I had a group of friends. We went to the premieres and we got all dressed up and whatever. Well, I did anyway. I dressed up as Samwise Gamgee and kind of embarrassed myself, especially because at the time I really looked like him. I thought those films were extremely well made, but there was one complaint that I had. And the complaint was that Faramir's character, his, his entire personality, was sort of compromised by the film. In the books, he was supposed to be sort of representative of the potential of humanity. In the films, he was just another human with the same sort of greed and blah blah blah. And yeah, he does redeem himself ultimately, but the fact that he had, you know, any question beyond what he had in the books, to me was sort of disappointing because he was supposed to show what humans are capable of. With the Harry Potter films, there's obviously a lot more to uh, complain about, I guess. They do make a lot of changes from the books, and a lot of people have a problem with that. I don't really. Honestly, I think I've just accepted over time that adaptations of books are generally kind of disappointing. Lauren's taking a shower, you can probably hear that right now. I think that books are commonly uh, made into films that people, or, or that producers feel people will enjoy in a visual context. And sometimes it's hard to take, you know, a book that's several hundred pages and turn it into a one and a half to two hour movie that will actually entertain people. But honestly, I, I really don't have many problems with the films. I mean, I either enjoy them or I don't, and it depends on the film itself, not so much how it relates to the book it's based on. The first Harry Potter film I thought did a great job of just creating the universe in a visual way. I enjoyed watching, you know, the the visual representation of Hogwarts, of, you know, uh, Diagon Alley and the characters themselves. I thought that overall it was casted very well. I know some people disagree with me, but I don't care. I thought it was casted very well. I thought that uh, the sets were amazing. I thought that the costuming was amazing. And I just really enjoyed visually um, experiencing the universe. Uh, some things did change. I did have different ideas in my head of what stuff looked like. But I don't know. Ultimately, the positives outweigh the negatives. I don't get caught up in the negatives, and I try to just take it for what it is. The most recent film, The Deathly Hallows Part 1, I thought was the best in the series. My least favorite is probably Goblet of Fire, and that's mostly just because the actual storyline is a little less interesting to me than the storyline in other ones, and that holds true for the books as well. I don't actually feel guilty for enjoying the Harry Potter films, at least the ones that I do enjoy. I do think that fans need to sort of take the movies with, I guess, a grain of salt, be a little bit more accepting of the fact that they are just films, they're not the books, they don't actually change anything about the books. People say that a lot. They say that the films have changed things. They actually haven't because the books are still in their original form. If you really feel strongly about a certain plot point, go read the book again. It's there. The, the script of the movie has not been, you know, worked into the novel. I am super excited for the second part of the Deathly Hallows film. Seriously, there are things in that part of Deathly Hallows that I am extremely excited about seeing um, 
you know, transformed into a visual context. The Battle of Hogwarts, you know, Harry confronting Voldemort, all this stuff. It's going to be incredible. And it's probably going to be popcorny, and, you know, it's probably going to be uh, a typical Hollywood action flick. But I don't really care, because that's what it should be. Oh, question of the day. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have a question of the day. I haven't thought of one. I'm on tour. My brain is a little frazzled. Hey, Justin. Oh, hey, man. Do you have a question of the day for Life Changes Everything viewers? Yeah. Um, since you mentioned it was going to be an, a, more of a Hollywood action flick, the question should be, which character should maybe Jason Staffman play in Harry Potter 7 2? All right, there you have it, folks. Question of the day from JFFTSQ at, that's his Twitter, um, except you put the at before the, yeah, shut up. Which character should, what's his name? Jason, I Jason. I think it's pronounced Jason Staffman. I always see commercials with him on TV doing these high energy action films. Jason Staffman. S Staff, I think. T H H. Staffman? Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. All right, Jason Staffman. I don't know who that is. If you do, uh, reply in the guy and uh, tell us who you think he should play in the film. I'm going to go right ahead and say Cedric Diggory. <laughs>